So, uh, hello everyone, welcome to Science and Tech Over Simplified. I'm planning to change this uh, channel name, we are not entirely sure yet. So, yeah, uh, this was the code that we wrote last episode. If you didn't see it, check out this, you know, link coming uh, coming up right now. And I've also got a playlist, it's gonna come up right now, okay? So, two cards right there. Now, uh, this is the code that we wrote. Uh, if you haven't watched it, of course, yep, uh, you can go watch it. I gave the link. and. Uh, there's nothing changed okay we did see out hello let's make sure this runs okay so okay so while this runs let me tell you about what we are going to do in this video the title might suggest of course variables and if statements but what are they so first let's look at variables so all the code we are going to type is going to be inside the main function and variables are actually like let's say packets or containers so let's say you want to tell a story okay so there we have the hello um, let's close it up okay so let's say you want to tell a story uh, see out uh, he is 43 but still okay um, let's run this no errors okay so if you're going to run this you're going to get the exact same text Kind of so, uh, while it starts programming and uh, compiling, it's kind of slow because I'm recording. But then, uh, let's say you want to now change your character name. Okay, big task. What are you gonna do? So, what do you do? Probably you'll go here and then you'll say, uh, and go here and then, and then. So, this was pretty easy. So, yeah, uh, we have John was good, John was 43, John was not so old. Okay, now we are going to get the output properly. But then, now after some time. You again want to change it. It's a tedious process. And let's say you had, we have only three lines right now. Uh, one, two, and three. But then, let's say we had 30 lines right now. What would we do? What would we do? It's actually tough. So what we do, we de uh, we define something called a variable. Variable is like a container with a box, with a label on top of it. So the label is the name. So let's say uh, John. Uh, or Tim, okay, whatever, is a group of characters, T, I, N, M. So, a group of characters are known in the data types. Data types was discussed last video, called string. So, let's say string. And to use any kind of string variables, you have to add another include. You have to, you know, include something else. It's called string. It's not built in yet. Okay, so, string, um, let's say name. Let's say the variable name. But the name is actually a kind of a keyword, so it's a word that's used in programming, like C out. So it'll throw an error. So let's say character name. You can't have spaces, by the way. Okay, so character name is equal to let's say um Tim. So what I'm gonna do is I'm setting a box. Let's say just imagine this box with a label called character name and the value or the item inside that is called Tim. So what you do, you go here, you know, and then you say, this is, when you when I'm adding again, you know, another quote, um, another, you know, two less than symbols, it's like, just telling, like a plus. So I have this and then this print in the same line, same command. So you guys go say character name. Okay, so sorry if my spelling was wrong about character. Okay, so now we run this. Um, while it runs, the expected output is Tim was good, Tim was 43, and Tim was not so old. So it's gonna give the expected output. So while this runs, let me start changing into a new name. Let's say I want to revert it back to John. I just changed my mind. Okay, I'm kind of perplexed on what to do. So um, my PC is kind of slow. Okay, so. Mm, Okay, Tim was good, Tim was 43, Tim was not so old. But then, let's rerun it. Now, let's say John. Now, what do you do? So, shouldn't it say John was good, John was 43, and John was old? That's our expected output. So now, let's say you have 30 lines of code. You don't have to change all 30 lines. Just change one line. That's enough. So, that's exactly how you get um, values. Okay, or you have a value. Okay, so 
now today we are going to be exploring another two commands okay those are if statements and the see in statement okay so okay here we have john was good john was 43 john was not so old okay so let's delete all of that let's delete all of this code we are not going to need it okay you know what let's create a new file actually new file um if dot cpp okay let's close that up and then let's include our base code we are going to be including okay we don't need a string for now let's say using namespace std uh, i don't give a space anywhere okay so this is the main code and then so what we are going to do now is we are going to let's say get something from the user so you let's have it so uh, totally simple uh okay semicolon don't forget semicolon guys semicolon just in case let's say end of the line it's not needed for the enclose but then not needed for the end of the function but then for everything else so let's say i want to get a number from the user so number let's for now for just for now let's consider it is a whole number so whole number if you're going to look back to my last video you understand that it's a int data type integer data type it's taught in your school int let's say user number we just saw how to declare a variable so instead of viewing it like something like zero what we can do is we can just finish this so what we are saying instead of having a box with let's say a letter called zero you just say no i don't want any letter i just want the box for now just for now when i want i will add my letter inside okay so this is integer now what you do you say c in so we'll discuss about c out c giving a c c++ giving something out c c++ getting something in so instead of less than you use greater than okay i ta okay greater than uh i was looking at my keyboard and then you are going to say user number so it's going to just get the user number so it's going to be blank it's just going to ask for input so let let's let the user know what the user should do so let's say enter and number so what we're going to do is we're just saying i'm having this message here okay enter a number and then you're having an input field called user number okay so now the let's say the user entered a number we got it in the user number so what will happen is the user number will automatically change to what the uh, user inputted okay the variable user number will change to what the user inputted so let's say let's just say for oh, let's for now just print out the number mm, we are going to add a slash in here actually not here let's add a slash okay not need one sign so what is a slash in it's a backslash it's just forward slash okay what are i forgot <laughs> okay never mind it's basically selling new line bring it to a new line so slash in uh, let's say uh, let's say the number user number user number let's finish off with the semicolon i hope you understand all of this if not you can ask me in the comments um okay so let's start running it um while this runs let's start exploring the if statement because i don't want to waste any time so what are if statements if statements are like um, okay uh let's say in typical condition the weather is gloomy so you get number okay we got the enter here so enter a number let's say 10 you give enter it is going to print 10 here okay so we got the number we printed it that's all simple okay so um, what are your statements so if statements are actually like so let's say the weather is gloomy outside you have to take an umbrella the weather is sunny outside you don't need it so what you're going to say if weather is equal to gloomy then take an umbrella or if the weather is not equal to gloomy take do not take an umbrella okay so in this case let's just input something let's say if the number is about 10 then let's output blue and if the number is below 10 let's output uh, red okay so what we are going to do is we are going to type the keyword if if bracket so this is our condition so if user number is greater than 10 
then let's print okay let's greater than or equal to 10 let's say okay so uh, okay that's lesser than uh, never mind so it's if it's greater than or equal to 10 let's say um blue I just copy the straight okay we need a semicolon and then let's copy the straight up and then let's just say uh, is less greater than or equal to 10 less than or equal to 10 let's say red so let's try this not equal to less than okay so let's try this so uh, this is the expression and this curly braces indicates execute the code that's under here in case this is this condition is met okay so while this uh, starts running this should be the end of the video so um let's just say um, here enter a number let's say we say 10 it should give blue because less than or equal to 10 blue okay um and then okay you know what let's call the main function again if this is true okay because we don't want to keep restarting the program it let it restart it for us so it's just going to restart the main if you're going to do this okay so let's run it uh, um, okay so while this runs uh, let's see uh, so okay there we have it it's going to start running it's kind of slow because I'm recording so um, okay enter number 10 it says blue enter number again let's say 15 it says blue enter number 9 it's just red. So I hope that works and that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.